Now, for some of you non-farmers, as far as the no-till system now, um, doing a true no-till, like I say, this is the first year. We're gonna keep working at it as time goes on. Uh, it gets better as time goes on. It's a, a couple year investment uh, till you see a real return. But here you see all the soybean residue here on the ground. Some weeds mixed in. We got a lot of residue here from the soybeans. This is gonna make a mat now of residue and this residue mat is just going to sit here until next spring in the spring we'll come along and do a burn down what is called a burn down we'll spray uh, any weeds that made it through the winter and in the early spring that sprouted and then we'll rotate this crop because uh, you want to rotate corn and soybeans um, just on account of soybeans fix uh, nitrogen in the soil um, we're going to do a rotation. This will be corn next year. And this residue, the planter will plant right through this residue. And as this residue decomposes, you're going to uh, slowly begin to start building topsoil. And uh, there's more oxygen here at the surface uh, for it to decompose. And it's also good for the uh, microbes in the soil. So. Like I said, for guys that are conventional, I don't mean to, to uh, put you guys down. Everybody has different ground. Um, this ground is uh, pretty darn good for no tilling and because it's sloped, uh, we get a lot of erosion. So year one, this uh, mat of residue, it's all chopped up and went through the chopper on the combine. And uh, it'll just sit here and then decompose and uh, five years of doing this it's supposed to build uh, some nice topsoil so we'll see how it goes and you guys that farm know this already but for any non-farmers this is just to, uh, to explain a lot of the things of uh, some of the ways no-till works I'm in a cornfield here and it was just harvested uh, yesterday and you see we have these stalks that uh, went through the uh, that were underneath the combine the corn was and we have these stalks that stand here. One thing I want to explain also why uh, no-till helps to build the soil. Um, a lot of the uh, advantages are actually underground. You're not seeing on the surface 100% uh, what the advantages are. But here we have a stalk and this stalk is connected to a root ball. And those roots, corn roots, can go down pretty far into the uh, soil and even down into the subsoil if they can, uh, if they have to go down to find water. Um, now that root ball under the ground, that, if left intact, um, as far as uh, if you would be a conventional coming through here and uh, plowing this or chiseling this, this uh, root ball here begins to decompose under the ground and it helps to create soil. And also, once it decomposes, it has kind of like water channels and air channels that it creates um, as it decomposes. So to pull this root ball out, just to give you an idea of how much of an area, now I'm probably not going to pull the whole root ball, uh, I'm going to tear the roots off that are underground, but just pulling the root ball out, this one corn plant, you see how much soil that it has held together. Um, as far as erosion and that kind of stuff, um, those roots, corn roots in there, are spread out through the ground and they uh, intertwine themselves in this topsoil. So this is all held together here. And that's one of the other uh, reasons why you have less uh, erosion sometimes if you're on a hill. And like I say, I'm on hills here. Um, so this definitely helps to hold the soil in place and uh, keeps it from eroding. Once you go through with a chisel or a ripper or anything like that, this uh, root ball becomes compromised. It gets chopped up. Um, the chisel and discs tend to cut all the roots up and you lose that ability to hold soil in place. Um, whereas with no-till, next year this is going to be rotated to a soybeans. and. Uh, these roots basically over the winter and into the spring are going to stay in these little root balls and they're going to hold all this soil on the hill hillside here. Um, and like I say, these corn roots go down pretty far. You can't really see it. But 
there's roots all the way around this hole and that uh, corn stalk left undisturbed acts as uh, a way to hold soil on the hill so and like I say as it decomposes it's going to create water channels air channels that help aerate the soil uh, it's better for the soil microbes the earthworms things like that now one of the disadvantages you tend to get a lot of slugs um, with no-till uh, now they say slugs usually if you have a cold winter and a dry summer it kind of takes care of them um, some guys treat for slugs what I have done uh, in the past and it kind of worked out good this year with all the rain we had I did have slug issues with no-till um, but the corn outgrew the slugs um, it was only a couple days worth of damage and then the corn was up pretty good I'm sure it hurt my yield I'm not gonna say that it didn't but um, that is one disadvantage with the no-till and of course weeds um, like I say uh, no-till is 100% reliant on chemicals to control weeds so yeah just a quick video here on some of the no-till for you non non farmers some of you guys that farm you know that and like I say if you uh, are a tillage guy that's fine uh, you get clay soils or um, poorly drained soils you have to till to dry out the soil um, to be able to get in on time I understand that completely and that's why I don't mean to bash anybody that does uh, tillage uh, if it works for you and your farm then uh, by all means that's the way to go but here in the mountains we have these uh, slopes here and hillsides and they were formed conventionally for years and we lost a lot of soil uh, because of it um, so like I said we're gonna stick with this and uh, see how it works and if I'm still on YouTube in five years um, Hopefully we can go back and do a comparison of this field to which some top soil is here. Now this is a hay field that has been a continuous hay field for many years. And uh, the topsoil here should be pretty good. It was, wasn't chiseled as far as I'm aware since, I don't know, probably going back to the 70s anyway. So we're going to try to grow corn in this and see how well the topsoil here uh, makes out with corn. So, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it, and like I say, I don't mean to make anybody mad about tillage versus no tillage, it's just a different practice. Um, we're all in different areas, there's many ways to do this, and uh, whatever works on your farm for you, then it's your operation, so you, get, you make the decisions that uh, best suit your operation. So, thanks for watching.